Okay, good morning, everyone. Thank you for joining us today on this uh, Work of Financial Stress uh, webinar. My name is Anna. I'm a small business uh, specialist at the Bronx Chamber of Commerce. Um, I also have my uh, coworker here, Daniela Soren, who's also with me for this uh, webinar. Um, and so I just want to say thank you to Spring Bank for joining us as well and to Rhino Foods for facilitating this webinar. Um, Melanie, um, it's your floor now. Hi, good morning, everybody. Can you hear me? Great. Uh, good morning. My name is Melanie Stern. I'm the Director of Consumer Lending and the CRA Officer at Spring Bank. Um, and I'll tell you a little more about Spring Bank uh, in a couple of minutes. Um, I'm joined today by uh, several of our partners in a really innovative program that um, we implemented uh, in 2016 um, to bring opportunities to uh, access credit, build credit scores, um, and build savings um, for employees throughout New York City. Um, and so today, uh, I'm going to tell you about um, about our program, about the uh, ways to access credit and um, financial counseling for your employees, and to help employees work, deal with um, financial stressors. We all know the, that the pandemic has um, been um, made life harder for all of us, particularly for um, folks who uh, work jobs that while they may be earning a, a living wage, um, still uh, may be struggling to, to make ends meet. We all know New York City is an expensive place to live. Um, so uh, as I said today, I'm, I'm joined by the Rhino Foods Foundation um, and their executive director, Deborah Rowland. They've been working on a, a path that's quite similar to what we've been doing in Spring Bank um, to bring um, uh, credit to workers um, and Brendan Kinney from Neighborhood Trust Financial Partners um, with whom we work to bring financial counseling, free financial counseling to uh, employees. Um, and we're also going to be joined by Alan Butterfass, Butterfass from Vista Foods is one of the employers who's been uh, in the program almost since inception. So with that, I'm going to um, ask my colleague, Deborah Rowland, to introduce herself. Thank you, Melanie. Good morning, everyone, and, and thank you for, for joining us on this uh, snowy day. Uh, again, I'm Deborah Rowland, and I'm the Executive Director for the Rhino Foods Foundation. And we work on a program similar to the Employee Opportunity Program that Spring Bank offers called Income Advance. And so there might be a, a point where I will use those um, those terms um, uh, interchangeably because it's a very similar program that we do here in Vermont. But we will talk about that as, as uh, we move through, uh, through the webinar today. But thank you for having me. Great, so um, our plan for this morning is to take uh, about a half hour to tell you about the program, um, how impactful it's been, what the issues are that are, are facing folks that we're trying to address specifically, um, and then open it for, for uh, Q&A. So I'm going to ask Deborah to talk a bit about why we're here this morning. Sure. So the uh, why we're here today, and then you know it's a it's a challenge. You know, money is a tremendous stressor for your employees and for all Americans. And so what we are finding that they bring they bring the stress with them to work, and it becomes a real challenge. And and what we want as an employer would be to provide an opportunity for, for our employees to bring their best selves to work. And so how do we do that? And, you know, it's, um, you know, research has told us that almost 50% of the American population cannot afford an expense of $400 or more. You know, if, if an emergency arises, you know, they don't necessarily have the means or the access to be able to, to handle that without doing, um, without certain things. And so what we're finding, though, it's not just about income. You know, there's a, a, a large percentage of Americans that, that make 50000 or more and still would have challenges meeting uh, an, an unexpected bill. And then certainly, as, as Melanie had mentioned earlier, even with COVID, you know, we all know um, someone that, that has lost a job, a family member, a friend uh, during this pandemic, and that has um, certainly impacted the ability to well and just, just adds on to the stress that, that the, uh, the employees bring to, uh, to the business. And so, you know, we're finding that, you know, there's increased healthcare costs because of the stress that they're bringing. 
um, you know, they're, they're distracted, you know, there's absenteeism. And so we definitely need to, uh, to address this, this issue. And um, we're here today to talk about uh, how to do that. So uh, Deborah, you wanna talk about how Rhino Foods got involved in this issue? Sure. So the Rhino Foods Foundation was formed in 2018. And as I mentioned earlier, um, the Income Advance Program, it was um, uh, implemented through the, uh, the company Rhino Foods, which is, a, which is a B Corp. And the owner, Ted Castle, you know, decided that you know, he, the employees were, were central to the business and, and integral to the business and wanted to do what was right and what made, uh, what made sense and, and, and what to do the right thing and, and what that was. And so he um, went through the process of becoming a B Corp and wanted to impact the manner in which business is done and formed the foundation to help spread this innovative practice and, and champion you know, financial wellness and financial stability because he knows that the employee is at the core of a successful business. And so we are a nonprofit and our role is to spread the Income Advance Program uh, here in Vermont, which is where Rhino Foods is located in the foundation as well. But then also, you know, how can we spread that nationally and partner with other um, B Corps and innovative partners to really spread this program nationwide? So uh, Deborah mentioned that Rhino Foods, what she didn't mention about Rhino Foods is they make the ingredients for Ben and Jerry's ice cream. So um, I would, lead with that, Deborah. I think that's definitely a calling card. Um, so uh, B, B Corps, Spring Bank is also a B Corp. And for those of you who may not be familiar with the term, B Corps are, is, are um, companies around the world who have a, a double bottom line, um, mission and profit. Um, and so we work to, both, uh, to make sure that all the, the products and programs um, that we offer to the community um, are impactful and, and mission mission-led and mission-driven. So um, we have that in common. We also have a couple of B Corps like Uncommon Goods and Greystone Bakery who are um, participating employers in our program. So we are also a certified community development financial institution, a CDFI. Um, that's a U.S. Treasury designation uh, that certifies that we um, lend in low and moderate income communities. So as the mission is essential to our bottom line. Um, and mission um, and programs like the uh, employee opportunity loan uh, impact the the way that we that we do business so um, the bank was established in 2007 uh, right in the south bronx uh, we do lend uh, new york city wide um, and in 2016 um, we determined that one of the the one of the products and programs that that we needed to offer to the community were small dollar loans um, and what that's about primarily is giving people an option other than going to payday lenders um, who might be offering products as high as 300%, um, pawn shops, rent to own stores, uh, borrowing off a credit card, dipping into retirement savings, which we all know is, is um, not a great way um, to bridge a gap if, if there's an emergency um, and um, you know, you need some uh, ready cash. Um, we also wanted to design products that at the same time as offering people credit, even if they had a poor credit score or no credit score, we also wanted to um, uh, give people opportunities to improve their credit and to, to build savings. So um, that's how the uh, employee opportunity loan was born. It was uh, an offshoot of our small dollar loan program uh, and an effort to reach as many New Yorkers as possible um, who may need uh, credit um, but would not have ready access to a small loan. So uh, what is the uh, employee opportunity loan? As Deborah said, uh, employees are of course the company's most valuable asset um, and with our employee loan program we are giving people an opportunity to um, access credit and, and build savings um, so that if somebody has an emergency um, or an opportunity, they wanna go to school, they wanna uh, get new credentials, they wanna travel, they need to go home for, for some reason. Um, we wanted to build out a product and a program that would give people really ready access. Um, and in order to do that, we determined that we needed to partner with employers. 
Um, and that's what we do. We currently have 31 employers in our Opportunity Loan Program. Um, and you'll see the list of, of some of those employers uh, in, in a couple of minutes. Yeah, so Melanie had mentioned, you know, what are, what are ways where people, you know, with no emergency savings, you know, can, can get access to $500 or $1,000. And, you know, there are certain ways that, you know, folks can do it, and they have been doing in that, you know, credit card uh, cash advances, you know, unfortunately, you know, having to, to overdraft their checking account, you know, going, um, sometimes even going without things, you know, prescription medication, or, you know, delaying payment of another bill. You know, these are all ways that, uh, you know, folks try to, um, you know, pull together the cash they need, you know, if they do not have access to that emergency savings. And, uh, and Melanie, yes, you, you, you are correct. I should have led with the cookie dough um, <laughs> because it's, it's, you know, that's, uh, that's important uh, during the pandemic, you know, ice cream is, is, is a good product. But I also did want to mention though, that you know, as part of the um, as part of the the income advance program, you know, Rhino did partner with United Way to bring the Working Bridges program um, to their facility. Understanding that you know the 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 employees there, you know, were were utilizing some of these means to access emergency cash, or you know, the, um, HR was seeing you know an uptick in folks coming in wanting to you know, uh, tap into their 401k plan. And so, you know, th these are all signals and signs that, you know, there, there's an employee that is having some challenges. And so, you know, through that United Way Working Bridges program, you know, that's where Income Advance was, was uh, discovered and implemented. And so, um, you know, it does really provide that opportunity for folks to get access to cash when, you know, there's, there's these other options that, you know, unfortunately are, are, are not good at all and don't encourage the, the savings in the long term, which we'll, we'll get into here in a little bit. So um, the employee opportunity loan is an alternative to some of these predatory products. And you can see here the difference um, between what it would cost somebody if they get online um, and use a payday lender. Um, not only are they going to uh, pay exorbitant interest rates, um, but the payday model is to get people to churn their loans. So um, they really are happy if folks don't pay back because then they have to take a new loan to pay the first loan. They incur new application fees. It's a really nasty, nasty system. Um, and so uh, we know that, that people use this, use payday loans to, um, to, Take care of an emergency um, to fill a to fill a gap. Um, so, um, the program and the product we're offering um, is an affordable alternative. So, so, um, so yeah, I was Go just going to say that, um, to date we've done uh, three point eight million dollars in loans through the employee loan program. Um, we have thirty one employers. Some of them uh, household names like um, Eileen Fisher, um, and we have. Um, over 1,200 employees who have taken advantage of the program. Um, and very importantly, we've seen credit scores go up uh, quite a bit. So on average, 50 points. Um, it's a particularly useful program for people who get the loan um, and start out with no credit score. And we've seen people uh, use the product, pay off the loan in a year. It's a fully amortizing loan. Um, and they find that they now have a credit score over 700. So as I mentioned with, with Rhino Foods, the, um, the loan program, since they implemented, you know, they've loaned over $600,000 to the employees and, and partnered with a local credit union to offer this program similar to what Spring Bank offers. And during that, during that time, which has been, you know, close, to, well over a decade, you know, they've had 520 employees take advantage of the program and 40% more than once. And we'll, uh, we'll learn a little bit more in this video that we're going to share. But what, what they also saw was the byproduct of this, and they really saw an increase in employee retention. And, you know, by, by addressing the, the needs of the employee, you know, that really drives that employee morale and, once, once, you know, keeps the employee at the, at the, um, at the business because they, they understand that, that their employer um, cares about them and cares about their financial health. And so, um, you know, and, 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 that's, and that's not necessarily, you know, 100% attributable to the income advance, but it really speaks to the culture. 
And so if you're a company that wants to offer this program, you know, you're culturally, you know, in a place where that employee knows that, that you care about them and, and their financial health. But Melanie, if you want to share, this is a video sure. that um, is a Rhino employee that uh, had taken advantage of the Income Advance program, and uh, we can watch this video to share his story. Great. And then what we're going to do is right after this, we're going to get into the, the nuts and bolts and the logistics of participating in the uh, Employee Opportunity Loan Program. So let's see if I can cue this up and you all let me know if you can see it. Can't see it. Can't see it, okay. I can hear it, but I can't see it. Okay, give me a moment. Now you can really hear it, huh? All right, you are screen sharing. You know what? Um, I'm gonna have to get this onto my screen, I think, as opposed, give me one sec. Hmm. And we can, we can, Melanie, I can, I can just share a little bit about it. We don't, uh, we don't necessarily have to. Well, you know what, let's go, let's go forward a little bit and then I'll go back to it. Okay. All right. Um, so how do you, how do you participate in the employee loan program? Um, so this is a program where we offer a loan um, to your employees uh, we actually uh, create a partnership with the employer, but the process of signing up as an employer is very simple. Um, and the workload, is, as we'll hear from one of our employers, um, is really is really pretty minimal. Um, and here's how it goes. Um, the program uh, offers a loan of up to $3,500, um, and it's a fully amortizing loan um, at 16% for all borrowers. Um, the entire process is automated. So we have a, a really terrific platform. Uh, employee gets online, they'll see the name of the employer, let's say Uncommon Goods, and on Dropdown or Bronx Works. Um, and it should take five to 10 minutes to fill out the entire application. Um, we have virtually no stoppers on this program. As I said, the, it's really, really geared towards people who um, may have poor credit, may not have a credit score. Um, having said that, we've seen a lot of people apply who um, actually have good credit, but you know, it's not, gonna, it's not that easy to, to walk into a large bank and get a very small loan and get it within a couple of days. So uh, we actually see more of a, a variety of income levels and, and credit scores than we initially anticipated. But what's important is for those people who don't have good credit, this is an opportunity to get a loan and, and build credit. Um, so I said you, the folks apply online. Um, what's really novel about this program and why I think it really makes a difference for folks is that the loan is put into a, the proceeds of the loan put into a spring bank savings account that we open for each borrower. And then the payments are a direct deposit from payroll into that savings account. Um, and then we, we take the loan payment out of the savings account. And why did we set it up that way? We did it so that when people finish with the loan, if they want to continue to have those payments flow into their savings account, they can do it. Um, and uh, it's just seamless. And frankly, we have some people who very deliberately say, hey, this has been great. This $80 biweekly hasn't really pinched. I'm going to let those dollars continue to flow. But we also have people who forget. And not that I advocate that people don't know exactly where their money is going. Um, we've had some really, really great stories where people came to the bank, had an emergency, you know, asked if they could apply for a second loan. And we told them, hey, you've got $1,500 sitting in your savings account. Um, and they didn't even know that. So um, we actually had somebody whose parents uh, had an apartment in Puerto Rico that was just devastated by the hurricane. And um, she came and said, can I get a second loan? And the answer was yes, but she also had accumulated uh, quite a bit of savings in her account. So, so we built the products so that we could try to get a lot of impact for um, pretty much a, a, a simple process. Um, and very importantly, we don't charge employers to participate. Um, so it's kind of 
you know, is as simple and easy and low cost for employers um, as it could possibly be. Um, and then we didn't want it to be just about the loan, very important, which is why we partner with Neighborhood Trust. Um, and you'll hear from our, our friend Brandon Kinney in just a few minutes so that folks can get on our platform, click a button, they don't have to apply for a loan, uh, and uh, get immediate access to a, a scheduler to, to sign up for financial counseling. So I'm going to let Deborah take it from here while I try to get to that video. Melanie, I was actually, I sent out a note. We can send that out as a follow-up, the link to okay. the videos. How about we do that? That way that right. we can. Okay. 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 So how it works, you know, it's, it's, we talked, it's a small loan, builds credit and then starts to build a savings. And so it, it sounds pretty simple and it really is, you know, the employer. So for us and, and our role, the employer would work with, with the Rhino Foods Foundation on, you know, best practices, how we're going to roll that out, you know, making the connection and um, providing the resources that they need along the way, you know, if they have to, um, you know, have a conversation with, you know, their leadership team about it, you know, we can help provide that and the tools needed for, for, uh, for what's needed there. And so, you know, we're just, we just serve in, in that role to be able to make that connection and really just provide and, and help as best we can as, um, as the business and employer that decides to roll this out. So, yeah, so what's really useful and important about this partnership is that because Rhino Foods has been down this path, um, they have built out through their foundation um, a series of, of training manuals and uh, webinars so that if you wanna take this back to your team, um, and you want to sort of understand the program, understand the process, um, and uh, say, here's a company, well-known company who's already done this. Um, that's, that's a really good and useful way to start. Um, having said that, you know, we do work with employers who just, you know, call us and work with us directly. Um, and um, it's either the executive director, the HR team, um, you know, who, who find us or we find them. Um, and getting started with the um, Opportunity Loan Program um, it just takes a couple of days. So, um, yeah, so you can work it either way or both ways. You can sort of bring in uh, Rhino Foods to, to help uh, sort of, um, was it skid the wheels, oil the wheels, get the process going? Uh, you can get to us directly. Um, and and we'll get you started. And so the, at the end of the uh, presentation as well are some links and some web links to, to provide access to those resources uh, that were mentioned. So you'll be able to, to look at that. But this is actually one of those, and this is the Income Advanced Guide. And so if you go to incomeadvanced.org, uh, you can sign up and um, as well as our uh, website, it's the rhinofoodsfoundation.org. And you can sign up and, you know, there's a um, convince me and a teach me site and, and all kinds of, of uh, opportunities to, to access the information. And so you can see, you know, on this uh, particular site, it, you know, it provides, you know, why, why we decided to do this, you know, um, different opportunities on what the guide will provide for you, you know, introducing the income advance program. And again, we call it income advance, but it, it is um, similar to, to what we're discussing today here with Spring Bank. And then the process. Uh, again, uh, this, this was done in partnership with B-Lab. And so um, it, is a, it is a free resource for, for you to utilize uh, along the way. And of course, we're here to help you as well. Yeah, and, and just so uh, in, in the hopes of not confusing folks, um, Rhino Foods uses Income Advance for their, um, for their loan program. Uh, we use the uh, Employee Opportunity Loan. But in essence, the, the loan products and the process are the same. So um, I'm gonna go step by step. So you can see um, that what I said about this being simple is actually true. Uh, for the employee, they get on our website. It's very user-friendly. It has some additional resources on there for um, you know, building a budget, building credit, uh, apply online. Here's where the employer comes in. Um, once somebody applies, uh, HR, whoever you designate, uh, gets an email automatically asking you to verify that this person is indeed uh, employed. Our minimum employment requirement for this program 
um, which is sort of a surrogate for credit score, is that the person had been employed for at least a year and earning a minimum of $20,000. Um, loan is underwritten. Frankly, the underwriting is minimal. Um, as I said, we have virtually no stoppers for this program. Um, the docs are signed electronically. Um, and um, sorry for the background noise. My husband's asking my son to go out and shovel. Um, the loan is, as I said earlier, the loan is dispersed into savings. And the payment from payroll I'm sorry, excuse me. I'll be right back. Our so this is a similar process through the uh, income advance uh, process as well. So again, as Melanie said, it's it's very, very simple. Um, yeah, I was just sharing with the, with the uh, uh, folks here how simple the process is. The beauty of working at home. So uh, the loan is dispersed into the savings account, which we open for every borrower. Um, and the payments, as I said, are, are a uh, direct deposit. So now it becomes a, a split deposit, uh, goes into savings, um, and that continues automatically. Um, and that should uh, constitute the entire workload for the HR. We really work hard to make this as a seamless process. Um, and as I said, that at that point, um, uh, employees uh, will build credit and if they continue to save, um, they see a really, really nice impact. Um, uh, and we report to the credit bureaus every month. Because of the nature of this program, um, we always get paid as long as people are still employed, which means they will always um, have their payments positively reported to the credit bureaus. So while we never overpromise, on credit scores because we don't obviously have control over what other transactions are going on in people's uh, lives uh, over the course of the year. All things being equal, um, you should see your employees have, um, your employees should see a, a positive, a positive upward trend in their credit score. So I am going to, sorry, turn this over to for a moment to our partner at Neighborhood Trust. Uh, Neighborhood Trust is a, a longtime partner of Spring Bank um, and through their Trust Plus program, they provide financial counseling to any and all employees um, at our partners. Thank you, Melanie. Uh, thank you, Deborah, for having me today on this presentation. A lot of great information here. Um, as Melanie mentioned, my name is Brendan Kinney. I am an account manager at Neighborhood Trust. I work with Melanie to implement the Trust Plus financial coaching program um, for employees of their Employee Opportunity Loan Program. Uh, Neighborhood Trust is a nonprofit organization. We are based in the Washington Heights neighborhood of Manhattan. We have been providing financial empowerment services uh, to the greater New York community for over 20 years. And it was about five years ago that our CEO, Justine Zinken, um, had the vision to bring our financial wellness programs into the workplace and really connect with workers um, at the point of payment, right? Before their, uh, before their finances, before their pay gets sort of eaten up by all the other obligations of day-to-day -day life. And so that's when the Trust Plus program uh, first launched. And we, we started very locally based in New York City uh, we know New York City geography and the, the unique financial challenges of managing a budget in New York City better than anywhere else. Um, but at this point, we now actually have a national scale program. We work with employers across the country. Our, our portfolio has as many as 200 uh, uh, customers on there at a time, uh, including the, the employers who take part in Spring Bank's Employee Opportunity Loan Program. Our coaching is uh, very high touch, very client led. It is not prescriptive. It is not a one and done sort of financial education program. Uh, your employees will be able to work with a financial coach for free, uh, meet with that coach as many times as they like and, and talk about whatever sort of financial goals or challenges uh, they may have, uh, in, including you know, deciding what sort of loan product would be best suited for them, what sort of credit product would be best suited for them, um, and they can access all of this, as Melanie said, directly from uh, the application page uh, for the loan. 
and they can they can apply for the loan first and then access coaching or they can access coaching first and decide if they really want to apply for the loan um again neighborhood trust we're a nonprofit. we we um are completely neutral on where our clients bank including spring bank we just want to make sure that our clients are uh, getting the, the financial products that are best suited to their lifestyle best suited to their needs uh, that are going to be safe and affordable um, so that's really our mission at the end of the day. Again, this program uh, is, is available to all employees completely for free at uh, employers who use the Springbank um, loan, Employer Opportunity Loan Program. My, my email is here on the screen if you ever want to follow up and ask questions. Again, my name is Brendan Kinney, Neighborhood Trust. Uh, thank you, Melanie. Great. Thanks, Brendan. And as Brendan said, we have no, at Spring Bank, um, we have no access to the information that people are sharing with Neighborhood Trust. That's completely private. Once they pass through our platform and schedule uh, to meet with a financial counselor, um, we have no access to any of the information that, that they share. And as Brendan said, they are in no way obligated, uh, required to take a loan in order to uh, access the financial counseling. So... Um, here's some of the, the uh, participating local employers. We do have um, many other employers throughout New York City. Um, these are the ones that are close, closest to home in um, Lower Westchester and, and the Bronx. Um, and if any of you would like to speak with any of these employers, I can tell you from experience that they're happy to share um, their success with the program. And with that, um, I've asked uh, Alan Butterfass from Vista Foods um, in uh, Hunts Point to just talk for a few minutes about his part of his company's participation in the program. Alan, are you there? Well, oh, I'm so sorry, we may have lost him. Well, I'll tell you, he was gonna say unbelievably great things about this program. So um, we've done about 30 loans to Vista Foods. We've seen really good impact. Um, and uh, what Alan shared with us yesterday uh, was that it's been a better alternative in many ways from what people were able to do. They, they, play, they pay, as he told us, a minimum of $20 an hour and up. Um, and even with that, you know, there are moments where, where people are finding it difficult to to uh, make ends meet, uh, or particularly to ad address an emergency. Um, and as I said, I'm not putting words in his mouth, but he did tell us yesterday that um, from where he sits, this is a, a much better alternative than borrowing from um, a 401k. One, and um, what he sees is that people borrow from their retirement um, and it becomes really difficult to, to pay back. So I'm gonna actually, so, Hello, sorry. can you hear me? Oh, there, Alan. I put words in your mouth, so please. Don't uh, make they, like they, they, were, they were very nice words. Um, I had to figure out because, um, unfortunately, I'm not the most technologically proficient. Sorry, I'm trying to get to the. How to unmute the call. Uh, um, and so now that I figured that out, hello, everybody. And Melanie, thank you for putting my name at the top of the list. I appreciate that. Um, as Melly said, I'm Alan Butterfast, I, the CFO of Vista Foods, and I've been working um, and coming into the Hunts Point market for the past 40 years. So I've seen a great deal of change and a great deal uh, of employee um, amount of local employees that have um, started working in this area. The owner of this uh, company, Vista Foods, Vincent Pacifico, uh, has always felt that it was important to draw on the local work pool as much as possible to give jobs to people and um, to help them out as uh, m much as they can. So we have always at Vista given employee loans uh, to our workers, but it, it, it becomes a time consuming um, process for us 
you know, to, to some extent, because an employee wants a loan, then he gets another loan and whatever. And what Melanie's done is um, fill the void on that. So while we still offer company loans at Vista, uh, Melanie's taken the step that not, they also give us the loans but the to the employees, but it also establishes savings accounts for the employees, and that's been very important for them. And they've a lot of the employees that we have have taken advantage of that. And um, the number of loans that we do now in a year is much, much less and much less burdensome. And Melanie's process um, for us is very easy. Um, it's a matter of clicking on an email and uh, verifying that the employee still works works for us, you know, what his salary is and, uh, you know, what we feel or what they feel his maximum loan should be. That, you know, that we're not burdening the employee with uh, having to pay down too much. So um, we look forward to working with everybody in the future. And uh, I think this has been an excellent idea by Spring Bank. Thank you. Thanks. And, um... It's good to know that um, Melanie and Spring Bank have now become interchangeable. It's seven years. That's probably. <laughs> yeah, well, um, and, I only have a, a handful of people that are go-to people at the bank, and you're one of them. <laughs> um, yeah, all credit in this goes to our uh, uh, really visionary founder, Dimitri Genulias. So, um, so I am going to um, go back just for a minute because um, I know we had a little trouble getting to the Rhino Foods video, but we do have a, a very short video from one of our borrowers. So I'm gonna to try to cue that up um, and then we're gonna open it up for, for questions. So let's see how this works. Now this time, can you see my screen? I guess that's a no. All right, apologies that we're having uh, uh, some difficulty with we'll send out the links to those to those videos so all right so um here's our here's our contact information um mr deborah and me please please reach out if you have any questions um or want to follow through in any way um and with that, we're going to open it up to, to questions. Do we want to have them type in? They can type in the questions or, or ask them. Okay, I, um, a question. I have a question. Um, it's why financial well-being is important and why employers need to help employees meet emergencies. I'm sorry, Anna, can you um, say that again? I have a little trouble hearing you. Okay, so um, actually the next one. What have you learned um, along the way and since the outbreak of COVID-19? Hmm. Well, um, we actually, at Spring Bank, um, we put the program um, on hiatus um, just briefly to sort of, because what we didn't want to see um, is people um, struggling to pay. So not only did we put the program on hiatus, but we gave every borrower with a current loan an opportunity to put that loan on hold for several months. Um, and um, so we put the loans into forbearance as needed. Um, surprisingly, there were not as many requests to do that as we anticipated, but our goal was to, to make sure that we weren't um, reporting people as having not, not paid their loans. So, um, so we, we put some loans into forbearance and then we surveyed all of our employers um, and we're pleasantly surprised to, to find that the vast majority um, had, and this was after a couple of months, had a stable workforce or had rehired, were starting to rehire. So um, we were able to reopen for the, the vast majority of our employers. Um, and not surprisingly, we've um, seen an up uptick in requests. 
Um, but the process is up and running and um, as smooth as it was. We added actually another employer that was Eileen Fisher, uh, right in the middle of the pandemic. They wanted to do a, a program specifically to reach their furloughed employees. Um, and, and that's worked very well. So that's been a, a really interesting partnership with the um, Eileen Fisher company and their foundation. Deborah, anything to add on that? Yeah, I, I would say from, from lessons learned and, and things we've you know, discovered along the way and, and is, is integral to, to, the, to the loan program that you offer, Melanie, but you know, not linking credit you know, to the applicant you know, is critical. You know, there are, are opportunities where you can check the credit and in some cases it's better than, than what they thought and, and that's good, but you know, definitely not linking the, the credit piece, but then also making sure that that savings component is in place uh, so once the borrower pays off that loan, and, and Melanie, as you said earlier, you know, they realize that, gosh, that, that extra, you know, $25 or so, you know, didn't make as, as big of an impact. And, and so they just continue to roll that over into a savings account, you know, is critical uh, to, the, uh, to the aspects of this program, because we want to make sure that, you know, the borrower can build that savings. So when there is another emergency or, you know, they need access to, to, some, um, to some funds quickly, you know, they have that savings where they've started to build up. And so that, those, are, those are the things that we've learned along the way that are, are critical to the success of the program. Right, and one of the other ways we, we make that happen and facilitate that is we set the payment terms. As I said, it's a fully amortizing loan. We set the payment terms um, and timing uh, according to every individual employer's payroll uh, calendar. So we get your calendar and we set it so that the, the loan payments um, and are tied to the, um, to the payroll schedule. So if you pay bi-weekly, uh, the payments are deposited into the Spring Bank Savings account bi-weekly. So are there any other questions? Yes, it does seem we have another question here. How can employers help and how can they adopt this program? So um, for the, um, there is a two opportunities. Um, if you uh, want to get some additional information and some training and you want to do a presentation for HR, um, String Bank and Rhino Foods can do that. That can be a next step and we often do that. Um, for those who are interested in ready, as I said, there's no cost to employers to participate. They can connect with me. We have a uh, really simple um, MOU, uh, which primarily says that our responsibility is for the loan, that the loan is on Spring Bank, um, and that the responsibility for the employer is to um, uh, verify that the person is indeed employed there, um, the tenure of employment, and then to set up the direct deposit from, from payroll, which just should continue uh, seamlessly over uh, the, the 12 months of the loan. Um, so um, I'll put up the screen again with, with our contact information. Yeah, and Melanie, you can, and, and you have that, that um, the website for the incomeadvance.org, but again, we're using those interchangeably with the employee opportunity loan, but those are some resources as well that, that can get you started. And, and, you know, especially if you need some help talking, you know, with your leadership team, we can certainly, um, you know, put together a presentation for you and do that as well. So Anna, any other questions? Because I think if, if there aren't, um, I can queue up this very short video. Um, should we do that? Yes, absolutely. Okay. You, the video. you let me know if this, if this works this time. We'll give it a okay. whirl. All right, can you see my screen on this? Mm, I still see the PowerPoint. Hmm. Melanie, you might you might just be sharing the the PowerPoint only and not your full screen. If you okay. go back to this the screen share, Got you it. should have Thank an option. Yeah. Okay, we'll do. So it does seem we have another question for you guys. Great. Um, 
Leola is asking, what interest rate are the employees who take loans charged? Uh, 16%. Um, this is not a, uh, a moneymaker for the bank, but that's not um, important to the, the folks who are borrowing. What's important is that they have access. Uh, the 16% is um, several points below um, probably the closest alternative, which would be borrowing cash on your credit card, which would run about 25%. So a uh, $1,000 loan um, over 12 months should cost, uh, I believe it's $83 in total interest. Um, we have no prepayment penalty. Uh, so if somebody does wanna, uh, we have some people who double up on their payments, that's absolutely great. The benefit of actually keeping the loan over the 12 months is that's more cycles we're reporting. So. All right, so I'm gonna try this one more time and I apologize for being a little, Okay, any luck? Or are you still seeing my PowerPoint? We see the, the video, video, but it's video. not playing. Yeah. There you go. It's not, it's not quite picking up the volume, I don't think. You need the volume up? I'm going to put the volume up. You said the volume's not high enough? Yeah, I think your microphone's not picking up the volume from the uh, video there. Okay, we're going to try it again one more time. And you'll let me know if this is any better. I'm going to do it on max. Apologies, yeah. Was that any better? No, I, I, I couldn't really hear it still. All right. I guess this is the uh, problem with trying to do this. Uh, I'll try it one more time and you'll let me know if you can hear it. Nope. No. 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 No good? No, there's no sound, Melanie. We can't we can't hear it. It's coming through okay. too faint on your microphone. Okay. All right, well, we will send the, the link to that as well, apologies. So anyway, so this has been recorded and we will send that out. And if there are no other questions, I wanna thank you all for participating and thanking um, Brendan and Deborah and Alan for, um, for joining me today and so Sid, you should have my contact information and Deborah's as well. So please feel free to reach out. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yes, thank you so much guys for joining us. And if you have any other questions for Spring Bank or Rhino Foods, my coworker Anna will be putting the email to best reach out to us at, which would be events at bronxchamber.org. We definitely want to thank Rhino Foods and Spring Bank for facilitating this webinar. And we hope to see everyone very soon.